We're Eric and Marissa, two nomads that have spent the last 18 months traveling from New Jersey all over the U.S. and Baja, Mexico. Last week, we took you on one of the most beautiful drives in all of Baja, from Playa Santa Speck down to Loreto, along the Bay of Conception. The drive was full of scenic views, switchbacks, and steep grades, along with tight clearances between us and oncoming traffic. Once we got to Loreto, we parked along the water and walked into town to eat and drink our way through all the deliciousness that Loreto had to offer. Today, we're taking you from a small campground in the town of Constitution to La Paz. Here we go. Good day to ya. We're here in Constitution, Baja, Mexico, and we are getting ready to head to La Paz today for some sort of big van life event that I can't remember, and I'm gonna put the name right there. Escapar La Baja. Next stop, La Paz. So this is pretty common in Mexico. They do all the filling for you. They will often clean your windows. They're super nice and they keep the gas station very clean. In this case, he cleaned all the windows so he gets a dollar tip. It's very kind, I think, to tip people that are super nice to you and flags me over and he's like, here, right here, diesel, diesel. He knows that I need diesel. Filled back up with fuel and we are on our way. She has to pee. Kind of. Our co-partner Alex needs a bathroom break before we get going. best to go close to the speed limit since this is the town I got pulled over in last year. No need to be a repeat offender. Made it to Walmart in La Paz. I've got my infrared temp gun with me. Let's go check on some stuff that got all messed up last year. And we spent a whole bunch of time rebuilding. Nice. Nice. All sorts of cool. Nice. I really don't even bother with that side usually. I doubt I'll get close. Pretty good feeling to have made it to La Paz and not have any issues. Let's keep it that way. So, we do the same darn things here in Mexico that we do in America. Marissa goes inside and shops, and I stay with the truck and pretty much make sure that people don't break into it. I honestly view like going to a Walmart in some crappy town in America to be no safer than the one here in La Paz. So, chill in the car. I don't wanna go into Walmart anyway. Plus, while I'm out here, I get to watch Alex's van and make sure nothing happens to that too. Got that out my side view there. And in the meantime, reheated some delicious pasta. RV life is oftentimes very much right out of the skillet because who wants to do more dishes than they have to? when conserving water. It's been a week now that we've been in Baja and we still haven't had to fill up on water. It is one of the items that we're gonna do some of today. Put a whole bunch of water in here. We still probably have about a quarter of a tank. 
So not nervous, but yeah, we got about a week. We get about a week out of our water system before I start looking for a refill. Here in Mexico, even though we have a water purification system on board, we've got the Aquiva, Aquiva, UV water filtration system. I still am gonna go to a purificata because for how cheap water is from a purchase price standpoint, it's not worth any kind of risk. So we're gonna go grab some of that after Walmart. I'm still doing my 100 push-ups per day. I missed one day where I only did 20. I made up for it. I still feel like crap about that, but it was a Sunday. We were at the beach. I took a day off, but no excuses. 100 push-ups, here we go. That was set number three today, 20 reps. Trying to keep these chesticles up higher than gravity wants them to be. Walmart here doesn't really look that different to me than it does back home. If it weren't for the fact that all the advertisements and stuff like that were in Spanish, you would just think you're in Southern California or Arizona, because it kind of feels like that. All right, another set of 20, let's go. Twenty more, knocking them out, knocking them out. Eighty total. Once I catch some breath, let my chest relax. We'll do the last twenty of the day. Get it over with. Then we can move on to eating tacos. Last round of twenty. Those last five were not the prettiest, but that does not matter. This has been a hard challenge. I don't know how many days it's been that I've been doing this for. Let's see. Two weeks, two weeks straight, so that's like 1,400 push-ups. Sounds so minimal, but goodness, I'm sore from it. Very heavy. Be careful that you don't break the thing. Okay. Chico. Chico. Feel that, feel that. It hurts Mexican snacks, Pop-Tarts and Ritz crackers. Good. Lots of Pop-Tarts, that's good. They didn't have regular Corona, they only had Corona Light. And so I got you Pacifica. That's fine. Oh. Would you oh, mind? I gotta move, don't I? At least here, yeah. All right. Challenges of a truck camper, especially with the slide out in the small spaces. Could put out. While Marissa's putting away the groceries, I am watching over a video that hopefully you guys have already seen. Double checking that everything's perfect before it goes live tomorrow morning. I know you wouldn't think you need a sweatshirt in Mexico at five o'clock, but you do in the winter. Next stop, water. <laughs> All right, let's see if they're open. <laughs> Definitely not open. I can see that it's locked. Big dog, bad alley. Hola! Agua pasible? Para garrafón o? Okay, eh, ¿cuántos litros son? ¿Cuántos litros? Uh, 40? 40? Uh, garrafón? Uh, I don't know what he's saying. All right, I'm gonna try this, let's see. He's here and he's gonna do it, yeah. Sweet, so that dude opened up for us, took care of the water business, cost us $5 per person. Now we're off to find a parking spot, which hopefully it's a I Overlander spot here in La Paz, down by a hotel. We stayed here one night last year. It's a relatively good, relatively quiet spot. Oh, uh, yeah, hotel. <coughs> yeah. 
So we could definitely park on this street. That would be not a problem. A little less attractive, but. All right, looking like this is home. I'm gonna take this one over out of this one. Definitely some fellow Iowerlander people here, which is good. I much prefer when there's other van life people around. That way, I don't feel as worried about getting stolen. Because you hope that there's kind of safety in numbers. Let's check it out out here. Mm -hmm. 